the last time we'll meet here. Mm, no, I know. Yeah, it's it, it it's come. You know, maybe I knew eventually that at some stage, you know, with the, with it being sold, that eventually the the club's going to move out and that. And but you never actually knew officially when it was going to happen. So, but yeah, we're here for the last time. Um, lots of great memories. So. Uh, well, that's my next question. Yeah. What? what? What's your best memory of Trujillo, do you reckon? Oh, I think one of one of my... my how many years have you been here? So, probably this is five, is it? In all, I don't know, I had a three year... I think I had three years and then... Um, and you had a break. Then, yeah. yeah, then I had a little break and then um, I've I've done two years and... Yes, yeah, so this might be my sixth season, actually. Yeah. So, time time flies by. <laughs> when you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, of course, of course. So, yeah, I have some some good times and some difficult times you know as it as it is but probably one of my my favorite moments was probably the my first year in the southern premier when um last game of the season uh when there was over i think there must have been over 2000 here that day and we had won the league um and i think we played weymouth at home and i think I think it was Joe Broad who scored in the very last kick of the game to win 3-2 and I think that was everyone during the season had scored a goal as well. That that made it that and that was a... Was it Joe Broad or Scott Walker? No, Scotty scored a penalty as well. So Scotty scored a penalty that day. To That was his first and then I think Joe scored right at the end um, to win 3-2 in front of a massive crowd and, and to pick the trophy up. So that was probably one of my special moments here. And of course... Um... You must have got through quite a few players um, that have come and gone. I mean, who have been the stars that you've had to, to play well, for me? Uh, well, of, of course, Stuart Yetton is is right up there um, for what what he's done for this club. And you say about legends, and he's probably one of them, especially for Truro City. The amount of goals he's scored, the amount of games he's played, on and off the pitch, he's been he's been great. Um, Jay Cash and, and Joe Broad, that kind of era was was special. Um, big mention to Stevie Adams, you know, he was here, what, what a player he was. Um, and of course, um, one of my favourites was Barry Howes, of course. You know, very fortunate enough, we was able to pick him up and he's come here and he, he spent some of his, of his, like, his last few years, you know, as a, as a player, but... Um, Did that take a lot of persuasion? To, to get Barry to come down because I mean he was living in London wasn't yeah he was living in London and we I played with him at, at, at Plymouth got on great with him and it was just an opportunity he was going to sign for somebody else and it was just at that time um, I spoke to the old chairman and just said whether we could get a deal through and we managed to do that and he did he come down and trained once a week with us uh, which was phenomenal and the performances and the professionalism of him was great and I think that's what helped me win the league that year because of he coming into the dressing room I think it was a bit a lot of players looked around was like blimey you know this is Barry but the, his professionalism showed through for the rest of the boys great memories and uh, uh, and to think that well sadly it's going to be no more here I mean you move on to a new era now at play more talky uh, I mean I know the players are looking forward to it mm. uh, because obviously there's less travelling involved. But as far as uh, the, the match day experience, how's that going to differ? Do you think? I think it, it's it's going to be different. Yes, you know the stadium you're going into is a lot bigger, um, and we're all going to have to get used to it. But because it's going to be our our home for a period, then we've got to try and make it best as possible. That you know this is our home. We're not playing away here today, and. Um, try and make home advantage count as, as as quickly as we can you know I think it's going to be difficult the first few games because we're playing there and everyone's coming to play us and I'm sure everyone will be enjoying you know not traveling as far and, and, and playing at a bigger bigger stadium so we have to get used to it very quickly um, is the first thing we've got to do. Have you had any training sessions there? Or? No no. Is that because it's happened so quickly? I think it's just yeah, it's just <laughs> happened so quickly. Um, no, we've we've not had any training sessions there, um, so it will just be a case of we we'll turn up Saturday. Um, quite a few of the boys, have, I think, have played there in their time, um, but it will be new to some of them, and hopefully they'll they'll enjoy the occasion rather than um, go out there and look around and think, wow, you know, it's amazing.
And for you, of course, going back to an old club. Yes, I was assistant manager there, also a player there. I, you know, had some really good times there. You know, we got promoted as a player um, from the conference to the Football League. Um, and then as an assistant, obviously, um, we was we was part of a team that it went from League Two after joining in January to we did get relegated and then we finished halfway up the league uh, the next year in the conference. Um, you know, so um, no, I've had I've had really enjoyable times there and, and when I've been back, you know, they've made me feel welcome, which is nice. And Billericay Saturday, uh, you couldn't really have a tougher game, could you? Well, favourites for the league. When you look on paper, you know, Premiership players, it's a whole new world, you know, but you're just thinking, well, they've just got promoted as well, you know, so um, it couldn't come any tougher, but um, I'm sure the boys would be really looking forward to the occasion to pit themselves against, you know, the favourites in the league and let, let's see what, what happens. And of course, supporters wise, I mean, uh, we need to somehow try and make sure they travel as well. So, so sell the idea. Yeah, no, of course. It, we got we got a group of boys together. It's a total different team to what it was last year, you know. And um, I think, in all, it was a very successful season on the pitch. Um, and it's just we've got a lot of younger group now, and uh, we just hope that uh, people, you know, who still love love the players and love the club will venture down and, and come and watch the, watch the team and um, cheer them on because we'd love to see you there you know we know they've got to travel the miles to go and do that um, and we understand that but it would be great to to see as many numbers turn up to get behind these this young group of boys and a, a lot of new names uh, who should we be looking out for well obviously we've got Jojo in the, the goalkeeper who, who came in the very last knock-ins last season um, from Bristol. We've got a young young midfielder from um, Bristol called Tom Richards. We've got um, Max Morecambe from Exeter. Um, and uh, Lloyd Gardner's come in from um, Buckland. And um, we've, we've, we've picked up another striker as well in Jared Lewington, who's at Tiverton. So, you know, there's, there's quite a few fresh faces who are all gelling together and bonding together and um, looking forward to the season, I'm sure. How do you go about getting players in, in the summer? Do you have a, almost a shopping list or how do you do it? Yeah, it's... it's it must be recommended, you know. Yeah, you get, well. you get recommended a lot, a lot of players by, by um, agents and stuff. Sometimes you then say. Are there a lot of agents in this. Yeah, level of yeah, a hell of a lot of agents in this in this level of football. And pesto, oh, um, some are, some are great for you, but then, but then, when you actually tell them where Truro is, then then they look it up and they all of a sudden their players ain't available, you know. So you have to. So that's one advantage. So lo so, so location is 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 that you know, um, but we always look around the the, the Torquay Exeter. Plymouth, you know, and of course, if there is anyone local enough, we've we've got young um, Hayden Turner, who's a Nuki boy, who was at Hartbury um, University and played a little bit for Gloucester last year, and you know he's coming on board this year as well. So there is a little bit of a local talent. Of course, we're always looking around and seeing seeing what's around, but yeah, it's location at the end of the day. It's very difficult to go and get players from London and and the north you're always getting sent emails on these players are available but you just have to delete them straight away because it's just not going to work uh, and there's going to be a, a big bold brave new striker joining the club as well yeah it's not gone through yet so um i'm still hoping it'll all be done and dusted tomorrow so i don't really want to without reve revealing his name tell us his main assets how's well, he going to fit into the yeah, squad i i think we you know i think we've got really three strikers i like four strikers so he will add to competition there and um hopefully he'll bring his experience of being around you know playing high levels of football um and again it's it's through location as well where he's where he's based at the moment which will help us but his experience will will hopefully help these younger boys playing up front as well so i'm um, really pleased and hopefully it will all get done and you obviously still get a buzz from being involved yes i do <laughs> you know it's no it's difficult i've done think about that. i know i've done football my whole life and um 
you always get the, those nervy moments before the game starts and then once the game starts then it's down to those guys to go and do it and you hope they go and do the business you know um, week in week out it, it gets harder and harder year in year out it gets harder you know but uh, if I didn't love love the game I wouldn't be doing it and just I, I've just got one memory of you last season was in the press uh, press room after the Charlton game that must have been great to sort of go back and, and be on the pro scene yeah it? as as crazy as it seemed I said probably my best two moments last season as a manager and probably through my career as a, like a manager was we lost 3-1 to Charlton um, but it was an amazing to see all those fans there in their in their droves out singing Charlton and the boys went and put on a performance that night as well and then another another strange one was also um, losing in the playoff final but just knowing how what a great set of boys they were and how well they competed and I think if we'd have scored the penalty with 20 minutes to go we'd have probably gone through to the next stage you know as well so um, it was just two very proud moments that will stick with me for the rest of my life well let's hope this season coming brings you many more I hope so too thank you